Hello, beautiful women. So um, welcome to this masterclass. I'm so excited you are here today. We're going to talk about, you know, beauty bodies and how to overcome um, self-sabotage in, in your, uh, well, in loving your body to the max. So we're going to talk about, you know, what, what real beauty is, how you can really experience that beauty in your life and in yourself. Look at your body at a, at a way that it's, um, uh, that it's nurturing and loving. And there are so many, you know, we have, like, we live in this social media culture that, we constantly get these messages like our bodies are not good enough, like from the consumerism that you should buy this or you should buy that in order to be beautiful. And that's a lie. You know, there's beauty in every one of us. There's a beautiful body. There's a beautiful woman in every one of us. But we need to stop comparing ourselves to, you know, an idea that sells well. So we're going to dive very deep into this and um, I hope you're ready. <laughs> no, we're going to have so much fun. Okay, let me just share my screen for a little bit. And um, yeah, so I can see. Uh, wait. wait. Wait, yes, here we are. Okay. Where are we? Yes. Sure. Okay, so I think you um, can see this right now. Here we are. Okay, so my name is Daphne Simon. Some of you may not know me. Uh, I will do a short introduction and then we dive deeper into the blocks that you could have, uh, you know, in loving your body and, and having a radiant self not you know to stop comparing yourself to other people and stop comparing your body to other people and and that is what gives you all the ultimate mental freedom that i don't know you're really craving for so my name is daphne simons uh i'm a model energy healer and a coach um i help women to become their most radiant self and let them love the fuck out of their bodies um I do that with like your intuitive powers. I really believe that your authenticity is what makes you you. And um, often we are a little bit distanced to that mm. innate power, to that authenticity. So, yeah. All right. Let's go any further. So there is a beautiful woman in every one of us. Um there is like the box there's there's a difference between real beauty and box beauty and um what i really want you to understand is that the beauty i am talking about is not that you see on social media it's not the perfect you know body that is in perfect uh, a posture and a perfect this perfect that and um I come from the modeling industry where I'm really used to that and where I'm really, you know, where that that is that box beauty. And that's not what I'm talking about today. I mean, it's it's beautiful if you have that and it's beautiful, but it's not the real beauty that you want to have. You know, the real beauty is the beauty that lives inside each and every woman. And that is a universal energy. It's a you know, real beauty is your birthright. That's that's really true. And there is a beautiful woman in everyone. Some people don't really understand that. Some people don't want to know that. But that's really true. Like some women, and it's so sad, some women, women are really so far away from their own beauty because they have been told that they're ugly or, you know, they have been told that they are not good enough that there's something wrong with this that you have been bullied they have been you know sexually harassed so they don't feel safe in their beauty anymore and that you see that in a woman when when a woman is disconnected from their beauty you see it in their expression you see it in their posture you see it in the way they have a radiance over them or not 
And beauty really is a spiritual thing. You know, it's it's a soul's expression to be and have beauty in their life. If you look at the world, you know, if you look at nature, if you look at flowers, if you look at certain fruits, butterflies, have you ever seen like a butterfly? How amazing and how beautiful that is, how well shaped and how in balance and in harmony that beautiful creature is made. Like it's not something to be ashamed of to want. It's it's everywhere. It's it, and I think I believe that we need to get rid of that. What's it called? We need to get rid of that shame around wanting to have beauty and wanting to be beautiful because it is a universal uh, power. And that's the thing. There is a lot of power in beauty. We need to acknowledge that. And, and you know, if you see a, a, a woman who stands in their beauty they have a lot of influence. That's true. You know, they, if they are radiant, if they, and I don't mean that box beauty that they have like, I don't know, a symmetrical face like this and, and lips uh, that are really thick and, and eyes that are, I don't know, with lashes, like natural, not so natural lashes like this and that. It is like a radiance from within it is a beauty that you see in a butterfly it's a beauty you see in certain fruits that it's so well shaped and so beautifully made that because it's in harmony it doesn't and it grows and it uh, expands you know beauty is a form of expansion and of cultivation and that's power so there is people feel that people feel your radiance people feel when 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 you feel beautiful and that's also why it can be scary as well you know when you are beautiful you it is more chance that you are visible so that people are going to look at you, that you're going to attract attention to you. When you feel radiance, people are going to notice it. And that can be scary if you don't want to be visible. So what are your blocks to beauty? That's what we're going to find out today. And what's possible for you if you would embrace your beauty? What what gifts are there to discover you know, I really want you to tune into that for a little bit. What can it give you if you would embrace your own beauty, if you would cultivate your beauty, if you would allow your own beauty to beautify your life? Yes. So I just want you to get a little intention for now. So what's the best possible outcome you can get from this masterclass? And you're just going to stop sharing so you're just gonna see me now so I want you to you know visualize what your beautiful body what a beautiful being what a beautiful you know what if you could have this beauty in your life what if you could feel beautiful what if you could embrace that inner beauty what would it give you what would that power, what would that radiance, what would that, what that joy, that juice, what would it give you, you know? What if you wouldn't diminish your light? What would it give you? So we're just going to set a little intention. I'm just going to give you like a minute or two for that to write down. What's your intention for this masterclass? What's your, yeah, what's your intention? What's the best thing that can happen after this hour, after this masterclass? Just write it down. I'm just going to give you a minute or two. All right.
All right. So you can finish it, wrap it up. So I'm really curious if you wanna wanna send it to me in a DM. That would be perfect. I would really love to know that. Okay. So next one. We have a relationship with our bodies and it's it's just like a relationship with your partner or your um yeah, wait, let me just do this for a bit. So we just have a relationship with our bodies. We can't deny that. We need to acknowledge that that it is a real relationship. You know, if you could talk to your body, if you could it is a like an I always try to see it as like a like a consciousness. There it, it is like a little friend you carry with you and that you you know your soul has chosen your this body. This body is your body that you chose before you came here. And I really do believe that it's a soul's intention to have this body. And this is the body that you have right now. That's the perfect body for you. So let me go back to the... Yeah, so the relationship with you and your body. So if you can't really feel that body then um you then there is something in between it then there's and and when you when you do like a family constellation or you do like systemic work on this um i'm training that as well but if you you can like visibly see you can see what really stands in between you and your body so it's really interesting to you know, to, to do a little, uh, exercise with that. If you are, um, if you're known to that. So if you could imagine you and your body as two separate entities that can talk to each other, and there's this thing that stands in between these two, it's often a form of protection to not fully see your body as it is you know if there's something in front of you and a person um then there's something in between you and you can't really see that person because they're standing something in the way to actually fully and and completely see that person so imagine if that's your body you can't really if there's something in the way between you and your body you can't really see your body as it is so you can't really see that beauty that is really there and that is like the thing that stands in between um in between you and your body is for example the critical voices of one or more caregivers that you have internalized which is really sad but it happens so many times um yeah the ideal picture you've seen on instagram partner issues and also like uh, wounds of abandonment and fear to commit that often stems from the mother wounds as well but we're going to talk about that a little later um so yeah the, the bullying trauma that it's safer to be invisible so if you love your body if you feel radiant then you would be attacked uh, or something else in in the same line of that so um or traumas uh, big or small around comments on your body uh, during childhood puberty and adulthood and a big thing is also a sexual trauma or harassment you know that when we are beautiful often we are seen as well and it can be very uh, we, we attract attention towards us and we need to have very clear boundaries uh and we need to stand very, very strong in ourselves in order to deal with that power as well, in order to be seen, in order to, uh, yeah, to, to, to take responsibility and not get overwhelmed by the, by the beauty that you radiate and, and the consequences from that and the mother wound as well, you know, our bodies, the first person who was in contact with us and our bodies were our mothers. You know, we were in the womb for nine months. And often when something happens uh, subconscious, yeah, subconsciously there, uh, sometimes you feel that in, uh, yeah, that can be a source of problems or, you know, 
insecurities as well that you can't don't trust your body or that you feel you cannot be supported or that you're in constant anxiety or you know a lot of things can can rise up from that i'm not going to go into that so much today because it's a such a big topic but i really wanted to to uh give that as an option here all right so we're gonna do a little meditation and that meditation is about your block between you and your body so i just told you that whenever you don't really see or acknowledge your beauty that you um what th- that there's something in between you and your body and in this meditation, we are going to find out what that is for you. Because for everyone, it's personal. For everyone, it's different. So I want you to close your eyes. Just close your eyes for a bit. And I'm just going to close my eyes with you. I want you to breathe in. And breathe out. And I want you to relax, relax, relax. Take a deep breath in. And out. All right. And I want you to be fear. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, see for some of you there are there are already a lot of triggers after the 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 previous page. So let me just calm all our nervous systems down. Take a deep breath in. Yeah, do a little healing on your nervous system. Know that you are safe. You're supported in this energetic vortex. All right. Know that you are safe, safe, safe. You are safe. And if you're not, if you don't feel safe or you you don't have the, the ability to feel safe right now, please pause and come back later when you um when you feel there is room for yourself to feel safe. Um yeah, so if you have children running around or something like that, please feel free to to do this meditation another time. All right. So now we've all calmed down. And we go deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper into our subconscious. And that's safe because we want to know the truth. And... All these answers are already inside of us. Your subconscious knows exactly, knows exactly what you need to do, what you need to know in order for you to make the first step ahead. So I want you to visualize your body. Your body is a different entity to yours. So I want you to see your body as your body. And it can be that it looks a little bit different than you're used to. Just make contact with it. Be, you know, be interesting. It's interesting to know what your subconscious reveals itself here. Everything you see is good. Everything you feel is good. All is well. It's safe to see. It's safe to see. It's safe to see. Just to take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. So now that you see your body standing in front of you or laying down, however you perceive it, what does it look like? How does it feel to look at it? Would you want to say anything? Is it uncomfortable? What does it do with you to look at your body like this? And now I want you to really see, try to see your body very clearly and notice what areas in that body you don't really see that clearly or you can't really make contact with. And that's information as well. All the information you gain is is a win here. 
And if you don't see anything, that's fine as well, because then it will come up in like a later phase or next week. It's all good. All right, so I want you to see and focus on those things that you don't really see clearly in your body. So if your body would be a bright, bright light and you would see that what areas of your of that white wouldn't of that white light wouldn't be as white or maybe even a little bit dark. Where is that? So now you've realized and acknowledged where that area is. I want you to Imagine that you're pulling that out of that body and bring it in on a on a safe distance in between you and your body. It's standing right in front of your body right now. So what do you see? Is it an entity? Is it a symbol? Or is it just a cloud or whatever you see, that's fine. So you, I want you to notice what messages this cloud or this symbol has for you. It stands right in between you and your body. And if it could talk, it could answer all of your questions. What would it answer to the question, who are you? Why were you clouding my vision of my body, of my beautiful body? Were you protecting me? And what were you protecting me for? I just want you to take in all the answers. Make a mental note of that. And come back. I want you to open your eyes and write it down. Write down whatever you have experienced. Just going to give you a little time for that. But what did that block say? What does it want? What is it protecting you for? No, very good. Very good. All right. So, next thing is your body baggage. And it's a little bit about what we experienced in the previous meditation. But your body baggage, and no, I don't mean that extra weight, although it can be extra weight. You know, sometimes we carry emotions that adds up in, in weight around our bodies and it's not physical weight. Well, it, it manifests as physical weight, but initially it is emotional weight. It is emotional baggage that that it that it's it's a little bit of an illusion that it keeps us safe, but that's how our bodies work. You know, f- the, the fat around our bodies is you can see it as a little boundary. If we're not really good at setting boundaries, then our body will set them for them for us. You know, sometimes we get sick or we gain a lot of weight. So we really need to deal with the safety here. We really need to deal with the safety here. And... Um, What often happens is when we don't feel safe, we are using our bodies to fix it. 
you know, we're using our bodies to fix it and it clouds your beautiful body. You you can imagine that there is, you know, and, and the clouds between, you know, the, the stormy clouds that you create around your body as a sort of aura to protect you. That's the baggage I'm talking about. You wanting to hide your body, you wanting to dim it, you know, dimin dim, 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 diminish your light. And, um, yeah. And I really want you to let that sink in. That the body baggage you have, it's not per se physically, it's emotionally. It's a way for you to feel safe. I want to hide your body. So, we're still a little bit in the meditation phase, so we're just going to write deep dive into it and uh you know let's see what that body baggage is telling you so i want you to close your eyes again and i just want you to imagine that body again and i want you to visualize all the body baggage as clouds around it and what if the clouds could talk back to you i want you to see those clouds those dark clouds that is your body baggage the negative body baggage this is not for your highest good to carry along it's very heavy as you can see it's very heavy and it weighs you down it weighs you down. So I want you to imagine those clouds around your body. Those dark clouds that you carry around your body wherever you go. When you go to the sport, you know, to the to the gym. When you go sporting, to when you go shopping. When you go to that super handsome friend of yours, when you go on a date, all that insecurity, that body baggage, those clouds around your body as an aura that really weighs you down. I want you to feel what that feels for a bit, to look at that from a distance. To look at your body with those clouds. And this is not who you are. This is a clouded version of who you are. We need to get rid of the clouds, you know. And the only way to do that is to interact with it with love. Not with bullying back. We're not doing what other people did to us. We're approaching this with love. Not with self-harm. Not with self-criticism. We're approaching this with love. Because that cloud that you see over there. The cloud around your body. That dark cloud. Is only protecting you from pain. So I want you to imagine that that cloud could talk back to you. And if that cloud would, could talk and you would ask it, what are you protecting me for? What are you protecting me of? What is so scary that you don't want me to see? What are you protecting me of? And often the first answer you get is the right answer. So I want you to slowly, slowly, slowly open your eyes and write it down again. Write down what message that cloud had for you. Yeah. All right.
So, you know, what happens often is that we create this cloud, you know, this dark cloud around our bodies. And it's a symbol. It's not as if we're like really carrying that cloud, but it's a symbol for all the thought patterns and thought forms that we carry with us around our bodies to let us feel safe, you know. And it's a very kind thing that they do that. It's just not for our highest good to carry that with us. You know, we're adults now. We're adults now. We can shine our light. We need to shine our light and we need to let go of the cloud. And how we let go of the cloud is to interact with it and ask what they need to let us be free, to let us be shine, to let us be beautiful, to let us shine our light. They're protecting us from that power, from that radiance, because we feel deep down that it's scary, that something bad will happen when we let go of the baggage. All right. So for now, I just want to let you that sit, let that sink in for a bit. And I'm going to give you some beautiful, beautiful uh, downloads and healing affirmations for you to feel safe in your body, for you to be radiant and feel that you deserve to, you know, shine that light. But you need to decide for yourself why you want that. And in the end, you need to find a way to let the reason for your light be stronger than the reason for your dark clouds. All right, so... Here are the downloads. And I'm just going to, these are Theta Healing downloads. I'm just going to uh, put them into your body, uh, in your energetic body. Uh, you can say yes whenever you want to receive uh, one of the downloads and uh, either say it out loud or in yourself. Um, if you don't want any downloads to come in, it's perfectly fine. You don't have to. Um, you just say no. But these are really good downloads so i would say yes <laughs> all right i know what it feels like to be safe in my body i know what it feels like to be safe in my radiant self i am able to release all trauma related to beauty it's easy to release all trauma related to beauty I'm able to release all trauma related to visibility. It's safe for me to release all trauma related to visibility. It's safe for me to be visible. I know how to be visible. I know when to be visible. I know that it's possible for me to be visible without feeling deprived, without feeling unsupported, without feeling anxiety. I am able to, able to overcome and heal these traumas so they no longer hold me back. And I'm just going to remove some of the emotions that come up with some of the traumas. Some of you are really ready to let them go. So can I just remove all the traumas that are stuck in your body that you're ready to let go now? Just breathe in and out. Don't forget to breathe. It should be easy. <laughs> um, I know what it feels like to belong. I know what it feels like to belong and be my radiant self. I know what it feels like to live without masks. I know what it feels like to live without a cloud around my body. I know what it feels like to be safe without that cloud around my body. I know how to state my desires, wants and needs in clear and direct ways. I deserve to have my desires, wants and needs met. 
I know when to meet my own desires, wants and needs, and when to ask for help. I know what it feels like to have an easy way of asking for help. I know what beauty feels like. I know what radiance feels like. I know how to tune into my higher self and let them answer my questions considering beauty. I know how to be and create beauty in my life. I know that there is beauty inside of me. I know what it feels like to tune into that beauty. I know what it feels like to tap into that beauty. I know that it's possible for me to tap into that beauty. And I know it's safe for me to tap into that beauty. I know that there's a beautiful woman inside of me that loves to create and nurture beauty in and around her. I know the highest virtue of beauty and how to use this power in the most loving way. I am capable of using the power of beauty in a loving way. Okay, I'm just going to release some uh, past life traumas that arise up, that arise here, come up here. That you no longer need, going to close these lives, complete the lessons. All right. I'm able to deal with power. I know how to deal with power without losing my integrity. I'm able to have power and stay authentic. I know how to deal with pow powerful people around me. I know how to be powerful in a loving way. I know how to trust myself. I know how to be powerful without having others. Um, let me see what com comes through. Without having others uh, cross my boundaries. I know what that feels like. And I know it's safe to state my boundaries in a clear way. I know when to stay and I know when to walk away. I am able to have power and stay authentic. I can trust myself. So I'm just going to fill all your, um, all your, all the cells of your body with self-trust, self-confidence, knowing how to state your boundaries in a loving and clear way and confidence, self-love. Unconditional love. This one comes up as well. I know how to be powerful without constraints. Like I feel some of you are, it feels very conditional, the love that you've received maybe from your parents or, so can I just heal that? Give a little healing on that that you are deserving of um, authenticity, that you are deserving of unconditional love and that there should be no conditions. Um, when loving, you know, let's see how I can rephrase that. Sometimes there are conditions, you know, we live in a world, but okay. Um, can we teach you that you are lovable no matter what, that you are deserving no matter what, that there are no conditions in you being a lovable person? All right, that's it. I trust my decisions. I know how to be beautiful without wearing a mask. I know the difference between real beauty and box beauty. I know how to deal with the responsibility of being great. I know how to deal with the consequences of being powerful. I know it's possible for me to be powerful. I know it's possible for me to be beautiful. All right, that's it. So I'm just going to share my screen. It's possible, by the way, that, um, uh, that some of you are feeling a little bit woozy or a little bit, you know, lightheaded. Just breathe into it and, um, yeah, it will calm down. 
all good. And if you need anything else, just send me a message on Instagram and uh, I'll help you with it. Okay. So let's go on. Downloads we did. So last little meditation. I know there are a lot of meditations, but I just really wanted you to feel that deep inside of you to receive those messages. I really believe that if you allow yourself to feel intuitive, you know, that you can rely upon your intuitive powers and the messages you receive from your higher self and, uh, and the universe, basically, um, you know, you become self-reliant and, and, uh, well, in the end, I hope you don't need me anymore in order to feel beautiful and radiant and stuff like that. So that's, I think that's, that's the most beautiful thing. Um, okay. So this is going to be the last meditation of this masterclass. So I really want you to really sink into it, you know, get the most out of it. Just tune into your intuition and tune into your intention that you set uh before this this um before this master class so you can get the most out of it you know i can only give you the 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 seats and i can only give you a door but you need to walk through it yourself all right so i want you to close your eyes again and now we're gonna do something fun so I want you to close your eyes and take a few deep breaths in and out and in and out. And I want you to prepare yourself for a beautiful, fun little exercise. So I want you to visualize that you're in a white, white, white light. I want you to visualize that everything around you is white. You're in the most safe and coziest place in the universe. Everything is white. You're so safe, so cozy. It's here. And I want you to visualize that something really, really immensely beautiful is approaching your way. You've never seen someone this beautiful. And it's approaching you. What does it look like? Do you already see it? It's a little bit in the distance, but you really feel that energy of this person that is approaching you. What is it that makes them so radiant and enticing and you're very much inspired by them. You really want to know more. You're really attracted to them. So it is so beautiful. And when they approach, you actually see it's you. They come closer and closer. Now you see them very, very clearly. It's you. It's your radiant, most beautiful future self. What does she look like? Or he? What is so mesmerizing about them? What do you love about them? How do they smile? How do they stand? What is their posture? What do they wear? They smile at you. They look back at you. Very, very proud of you. They, they are your future self. Who already stands in their most, most beautiful power. They've taken off the cloak. They are without masks. This is who you are. This is the potential. This is who you can be. This is who you really are. This is who's behind that cloak, who's behind the clouds that was clouding your most beautiful radiant self. What do you see? What's so unique about this person? 
And I now I want you to visualize that they have a gift for you. They get it out of their pockets or out of the clothes. They have a gift for you. And I want you to see the gift. I want you to accept that gift. They have so much to give, but this is a gift especially for you. Especially for you in this moment of time, in this moment of your life. This is a gift you've been wanting. What do they give you? So I want you to accept the gift. Put it in your hands visually. Visualize that you opened the gift. And notice what the gift is. What is it for you? What do they wish for you? What's the gift that you're opening? What's the gift you're receiving from this higher future? This beautiful radiant self that looks so good, is so beautiful. What is it? What is it that they are offering you? I want you to take a moment to let this sink in. If you don't know yet what it means, just accept it. Just let it come in. Just accept the gift, even if you don't know what it means yet. It's perfectly fine as well. In the end, you will know. It will make sense. Maybe now, maybe in a month, maybe in a year. It will make sense. And if it feels right, only if it feels right, you can put this gift inside your heart so you can carry it with you all around. So you can carry it with you in the next steps of your life. So you can carry it with you in the next week, the next month, next year. And let you be inspired by this gift. All right, so I want you to open your eyes whenever you're ready. And come back. Welcome back. <laughs> How was that? Whoa, I was so curious. It looked really beautiful, though. Yeah, really beautiful. Just let me know whenever you want to share something. Uh, I'm always open to hear that. Just send me a DM and we'll respond back to you. Okay, so... Now you have experienced this radiant future self. What could be the next step for you to take? What action step can you take right now or in like the next hour to take for you to, you know, cultivate that beautiful person inside of you, cultivate that radiance inside of you, cultivate the person without the masks, without the clouds around themselves. What can you do? What action steps can you take? Really good. All right. So that was it. Let me know. Wait, let me let me just uh, share my screen again. Yes. All right. So whenever you feel like the next action step could be to work with me, uh, just let me know. Uh, um, uh, you can always send me a message, a DM on Instagram. Uh, I will always respond. We can always see what works best for you. 
and uh, you can find me on YouTube as well if you want more content uh, I do group coaching you can find everything on my website and one-on-one sessions and if you use if you make it all the way to the end I want to give you a little gift and uh, you can use the code love l-o-v-e uh, and send it to me and you get it 10% uh, off. So I hope to see you soon again. And um, well, I really hope you had something beautiful um, after this masterclass. I hope you, you invite this person, uh, this future radiant self more into your life. There's a real power there there's a real power in visibility and beauty and yeah just um just let me know if i can do anything else for you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for watching and thank you for allowing yourself this gift it's it's beautiful it's radiant it's so important for you to, for well not for you you know it's important for the whole world to expand to take off the masks to Be their true self, not feel they have to compare this themselves. You know, it really pains me so much sometimes when I see people be someone else, you know, people be something that they are not. There's so much power in being yourself. Okay, that was it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope to see you soon. <laughs>